welcome back to my channel so today's video i wanted to show you what's in my hospital bag it's finally that time <laughs> all right so excuse the fact that the bottom of my tree does not work that's what happens when you have a puppy ever since i was 34 weeks i've had this hospital bag packed um just in case you just never know i also want to preface the video by saying that yes, this is my first baby and some people might think that I'm packing a little more than I need to, but I always want to be prepared for anything. You never know. And I would hate to need something and not have it rather than have it and not need it. So I would rather have it and not need it. We do live almost an hour away from our hospital that we're delivering at. So when we do have her on the ride back home, there's a good chance that we're gonna need diapers, that we're gonna need a handful of things on a one hour car ride home, not counting any traffic, or if a tire blows out, you know? There's just, you never know. So I personally think that you can never pack too much in your hospital bag or anything. Let's get into it. So first, I'm just gonna show you the bag that I have. It's just this big Veer Bradley bag. The things that you won't see are like toothbrush, deodorant, phone charger, like everyday items because I'm using those every day. I don't have 20 toothbrushes or five phone chargers. I just have a couple. So I will pack those the night before we leave. So I do plan on breastfeeding. I hope that that works out for me. I know some women cannot. So if that's the case, I do have maternity bras. Uh, I think that's what these are, nursing bras. That's what these are called. <laughs> and I plan on wearing one of these when I'm delivering because I know like when she comes out, I want to do skin to skin. So um, I can have this on and still have a lot of skin showing without just being topless. And I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but they are called nursing bras because they have a clip right here, which makes it super easy to pop your nip out and start feeding your baby. So they just fold down like that. You can feed your baby and then just clasp it back together. The next thing I'm packing is probably just two of these crew necks, something like what I'm wearing right now. I live in crew necks and I hate being cold. So I've heard hospitals are very cold. And again, I'm not sure how long we're gonna be there. We might be there a couple days. You never know what could happen. So I'm gonna have a couple of these. The other thing that I always live in are leggings. So I have two clean pair of those and then a pair of shorts because it's likely that I actually will get hot. So we will see, at least I have an option. So I did pack my husband some random stuff because I was freaking out one day thinking we were gonna go. So I put it all together, but I'm gonna let him pack his own bag if we get the time to, but just in case I packed him a shirt, some sweatpants and a pair of shorts. So he has those if he needed them. The next thing I have are these nursing pads. These you just peel and stick to your bra um, in the event that I'm able to breastfeed and I will probably have leaking boobs. Definitely wanna have these so that I'm not leaking through everything because this is my first baby and I don't know what to expect. So I'm preparing for everything. And I was given this at my baby shower. It's a lactation massager. And I just want to have this just in case I'm having trouble getting my milk to come in. Along the same lines of that, I have my haka. I had to wash it, sterilize it, and then I just put it in this bag. It's, it's fine, I promise. Um, so again, I have this in case of anything. And if breastfeeding does not work out, Again, we will be an hour away from the hospital, so I don't want to not have what I need. So I am also taking two bottles, taking a Dr. Brown's bottle um, that has this kind of nipple on it. And then I'm also taking this other one that has this kind because you don't know what kind of nipple your baby is going to want. This is Paisley. She has a cone on her head right now. Um, and she has decided to join me. And along with that, I'm taking formula. Don't know if I'll use it, but definitely wanna have it. We have her coming home outfit, which my mom got. And I'm gonna show that to you. I also packed two swaddles and then we're not sure exactly how big she will be. So I have newborn socks and then I have preemie and newborn clothing options. I'm just, I have a pack just a few. A preemie and a newborn onesie. Her coming home outfit, which is 
She has the options of these two and I hope she fits into it. We'll see. It's newborn and I feel like she'll fit perfectly in a newborn because I think she's going to be about seven pounds, two or three ounces. So I feel like she'll fit these perfectly. This is the top and then these are the bottoms and these also have a blanket, a baby blanket that came with it. So I just have all of like the baby's clothes are in here. I'm not sure if the hospital has these things. I'm, I bet that they do. But um, I have a whole postpartum station set up in the bathroom. So I have like adult diaper slash underwear, a peri bottle, cooling wipes, like a whole free to mom kit. And these came with it. And these are the cold therapy absorbent pad. So you basically fold it in half and then you put it in your underwear and you sit on it and it feels very very nice so i have two of those but again i will probably wait to use these till we get home a baby blanket because it's going to be mid december late december it's going to be cold outside so we have her baby blanket and then we also have socks packed and that's really everything that's for me and my husband and then a little bit for the baby and i'm also going to have her diaper bag mostly just i'm going to keep this in the car unless like i'll have my husband go out to the car and get this if we need it that day i don't think that we will i'm not taking this in the hospital with me initially but this has diaper rash cream nipple cream two clean pacifiers and a burp cloth and that's also just for the ride home if we need them and then of course we have diapers i packed newborn and um size one so i'm not sure what size she will be but we have newborn and size one in here so again i have two more swaddles and this is a bag i'm keeping in the car 100 percent of the time so that's also why i have extra swaddles in this one I highly doubt she will need preemie clothes, but I have more preemie clothes and newborn onesies just in case she's a little small thing, but I don't think that she'll be. And I have a first aid kit for babies. I'm, I'm just going to keep this in here all of, the time, all of the time. So it just has your basics of what you might need when things happen that we don't prepare for. And I just put these in a bag and labeled it newborn preemie i mean newborn size one and then of course wipes and then there's a diaper changing pad and baby lotion and then i'm also taking this um perineal he healing foam in case i tear i expect to tear because this is my first baby it'd be a miracle if i don't but um I'm taking this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you've ever had a baby let me know what you packed in your hospital bag that i didn't and some things that you used that you never thought you would use but you ended up using let me know but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys